Hi again everybody, Rich here with Stonebridge Photography Club Workshop. Today we're going to talk about mounting pictures. Something that we should all do and uh, most of us probably are doing now. But if you're not, there's some ways to go about doing it. And the first question, actually first the clarification is there's two terms that are used and they're not interchangeable. You hear the word mounts and mats and oftentimes mats are used the wrong way. A mount is something you put a picture on. You mount it onto the picture. No windows, nothing else, it's just like a backing. That's a mount. A mat has a cut out window which goes on top of your picture on top of the mount. Now today we're going to concentrate on mounts. We've talked about mats in other videos. Right, now, why do you need a, mat, a mount? Or do you need one? You really should. If you enter any print competitions, they require it to be put on a mount. But even if you're not competing, it's a good idea to do it just to protect the pictures. Um, it'll give a sturdy background. Or, if you're going to put it in a frame, it also provides a good backing. Mounts come in various sizes and shapes and types. They can be something simple as just a piece of cardboard. I've mounted pictures on this and it just makes it a lot sturdier, prevents it from accidentally folding, bending, and it can go on the back of a frame. Nice. Uh, you can go on foam board. This is a big piece of foam board, but you can mount a picture on this as well. If you're going to put it on display, it's a nice lightweight sturdy way of doing it. But the most common way is putting it on a mount board. The mount board is very similar to a mat board because it's the same material. What's the difference? A mount board doesn't have a window. A mat board does. That's the only difference. Okay, now a mount can be any size you want. Actually, the mount is either the size of the picture or larger, depending on, on what you're going to do with it and what kind of frame you're putting it in, if you're putting it in a frame. For today's example, we're going to use my favorite size, a 16 by 20 board, and we're going to use an 11 by 14 picture. So, you always have to measure, and it's kind of critical that you get the measurement right, or your picture's not going to be centered, and then when you put it in a frame, it's going to be noticeable. So, you take your trusty ruler, and remember our picture is going to be 11 by 14, and it's a 16 by 20 mount, so we're going to measure uh, 16 minus 11 is 5, so it's 2 and a half inches off of each way. 1, 2, and a half. 1, 2, and a half. Do the same over here. 1, 2, and a half one, two, and a half this way, and then you would do the same this way. I'm going to show you a shortcut that's easier, and if you measure like I do, this way is more accurate. Use a mat, a preformed mat that you can get in any supply or um, store like at JC, uh, what is it, Michaels or uh, AC Moore. They come in all different sizes. 5x7, 8x10, 11x14, uh, even bigger, whatever you want. But you get yourself a little collection of these. We're doing 11x14. So this is my 11x14 on a six, off of a 16x20. Just lay it on top and do some tick marks in the corner. And now I know where my picture is going to go. There's several different ways of attaching a picture onto a mount. One is double-sided tape, where you cut a piece off, put a piece of tape either on the mount or on the back of the picture in several different spots, take the backing off, and attach it that way. A second method is using a glue stick. 
This works kind of nice also. You just, just rub it around generously. Put it all over the picture. Or the photo. And the same way, you turn it and put it between your lines. Put it down. And that would stay. I found using those two methods that they don't stick as well. Uh, if you were going to take it and just put it in a frame and put it up on a wall, it would be fine. But if you're going to move it around, uh, enter it in competitions, hang it up on displays, I found they really didn't hang as well. And the best method for me was using a spray adhesive. This can be found readily at your uh, art supply stores. Again, your Michaels, AC Moore's, places like that. Not very expensive and it works well. There's a method to doing this. Some people are concerned about the chlorofluorocarbons in the air or the smell of it. I either do it outside if it's not windy or I'll just do it in my garage with the garage door open. It works well, it's quick, it's easy, and there's a little method to doing it. Here's what I do. I go back to my trust, trusty mask that I made earlier that I used to measure. I also use this as a glue mask. It works perfectly. But one thing that I do is you remember a mat is a little bit smaller than an actual picture. I want it full size so it hold, there's glue on all four corners of the picture. So I just trim off the bevel a little bit so it's a full 11 by 14. Right. Now, I place it on my mat board, on my mount board, use these little clips to hold it securely. Make sure it's straight. Lined up perfectly. Take my trusty can of Elmer's Craft Bond spray adhesive and we're going outside. Okay, we're kind of lucky. It's not too windy out today. So we're going to take it and the spray is pretty accurate so I can even hand hold it rather than prop it up. Shake it. I spray back and forth and then up and down just to give a light even coat and especially on the corners. That should do. Nice thing about this is you have a few minutes. You don't have to attach it right away. In fact, the instructions say if you want it permanent, put it on right away. Otherwise, wait a couple of minutes. So this gives us enough time to go back inside and get ready to put the picture on. I'll meet you inside. Okay, we're back inside. Take off the clips. This is kind of sticky, so be careful what you do with it. And we're ready to drop our picture on. We have our tick mark so we can see where to go. It takes a little practice, but once you've done it a few times, it works very nicely. Lay it on and let it go. Now, I take a trusty lint-free cloth. You can get these anywhere, but they're nice. And I go from the middle, the center, out. Just push it out. This cleans off any fingerprints as well. Push it on. And folks, there it is. A perfectly mounted picture centered, ready for a mat, or whatever you're going to do with it. We're just about finished now, so we're going to use the mat that we made in our last lesson, put this picture together, and see what we have. We have our frame. This is the mat that we made. And remember, it's slightly smaller. The hole, it's 13 and a half by 10 and a half. Take our newly mounted picture. Put the back on. And we are ready.
ready to put it up on the wall. Your beautifully matted and mounted picture. See you next time.